Hey guys and welcome back to World of Animals. If you aren't familiar with that, I actually work at a fish store and a few days ago I just had a look, you know, a routine look on the stock list, just looking for something interesting, maybe something special, and I noticed something. I saw a fish that's pretty rare and I was really excited so I asked my boss, could we order these? And he said, yes of course, why not? So we ordered them, they arrived and today I'm going to go to the fish store and pick them up for this tank right here. This is a small blackwater tank I set up a few weeks ago. Um, I'm sorry for the blur, it's pretty bright in my room. Not sure if the camera captures it but it's pretty brownish and I also did a water change and we have a small filter back there much wood because these fish actually like structure pretty much and some crypts you know there's a tiny little nymphena lotus and some other crypts some bucephalandra and some moss if you look closely uh, not sure if you're able to see that there are some cyanobacteria on the moss but I'm not really worried about that because they are not harmful to the fish. We have some floating plants, always good for your fish, and some almond leaves back there. So I will head out to the fish store, get the fish and show them when I'm back. See you then. Now I'm back at my place and I picked up the little fish. So these are Dario. His Gynen, Hyxinen, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. They are close related to the Dario Dario, the Scarlet Badis. But actually the males, this one on the left here, will turn fully red and they have, as you can see on the dorsal fin, a black, black spot there. They are pretty gorgeous and the females here to the right We'll keep the stripes, maybe turn a little bit darker, but they are of course stressed out right now. I put them in this glass uh, with, with some plant. Um, but, but I will start to acclimate them right now. And hopefully they will enjoy this tank. The lights are turned off right now. That's better for them, less stress for them. So, see you in a couple of minutes. So the fish have been acclimating for a while now and I think they should be good to go to go into the tank. The males already got some colors back but eventually they will lose them again once I pour them through this net down here because I don't want to get too much of the um, store water inside my tank. I work at the store and I know the fish there, I know the tanks, I know how everything works but still I like to keep my own water inside my tanks and not water from somewhere else. So I just pull them through the net and put them in the tank. So now a couple of hours have passed. And down here you can see one of the females hiding under the crypt. Back there is one of the males. Ah, it's difficult to get the focus because of the wood, it's in the way. So they still have to settle in for the long term of course. But I, will, I think, oh there's the other, f other male. He's pretty red already, that's nice. Ah, come on, focus, please. Well, I will try to get nicer shots for you. So yeah. Hopefully you like the video. Because I did. I'm pretty excited still about these fish. Hopefully I will get them to breed in here. 
for that reason I put um, the leaves in here and stuff like that the tenants in this tank helps out to create an environment which is pretty close to the natural environment and yeah the males will flare against each other and show off and make sure to stay the boss but they have plenty of structure in here so I don't worry about them fighting or something like that it should turn out pretty balanced in here I think here is one of the males again and yeah so hopefully you liked the video if you did leave a like and a comment and we see us on the next video Stay tuned.